Do all types of rice give the same sugar spike? Well, not really because in the past I've tested meals with white rice, brown rice, red rice and even black rice and all of them have given different results. Some higher, some lower. But till now I've not explored one thing, the different varieties within white rice itself. Because apparently even within white rice, the glycemic index can vary quite a bit. For example, there's a white rice variety called low GI kala namak rice, which I bought from two brothers organic farms. But before I tell you about its lower glycemic index, let me tell you its insane history very quickly. Firstly, it's one of the oldest Indian varieties and has been cultivated for about 3000 years near the Himalayan foothill region. Imagine 3000 years of continuous cultivation of the same seed variety. The amazing part is that it's got a glycemic index of slightly less than 50 while most other types of white rice are in the 60s or 70s range. Meaning that just shifting to this rice and even if no other change is made, the sugar spikes can be reduced. No wonder the government of India has given this a GI tag, a geographical indication tag. Meaning that only rice from the specific area where it has been cultivated for about 3000 years can only be sold as authentic Kalanamak rice. Who knows how many such treasures are still waiting to be rediscovered.